If you've ever heard of TCL, you probably know them because they make pretty good, inexpensive 4K TVs, but TCL also makes phones, like a lot of phones. They make Alcatel phones that basically every carrier sells. They make Blackberry phones, and they also make that little itty bitty Palm phone. But now TCL wants you to know that TCL makes phones. So they're announcing three of them. There's the 10 Pro, the 10L, and the 10 5G. Oh yeah, also, there's a folding phone. So let's just start with the folding phone because it's probably the one you're most interested in. And I have bad news, it's just a prototype. Like, a really prototypey prototype. The hinge creaks when you open it up and the software is nowhere near ready, but there are some clever design features to it. So for example, when you close it, it closes completely flat. And that's because they're using the same sort of hinge mechanism that the Moto Razor is. The screen sort of bubbles up in a teardrop shape inside the hinge. Another interesting thing, there is no screen on the outside of it, which is a choice. TCL says that they do not know when they're gonna sell this thing. They're waiting until the technology is ready. Maybe they even wanna wait for glass screens that can fold, and they definitely wanna wait until there's software. So that's a folding phone. It's cool, but we should talk about the phones are actually gonna release this year. One important thing to know about these phones is they're getting released globally, including in North America and including in the US, which really is kind of a first for TCL under the TCL brand. Now, the company doesn't want to tell us much about the specs, so we don't know the exact processor yet, we don't know the megapixels on the cameras or any of that, but we do think that all three of these phones is gonna cost less than $500, which could mean that TCL is gonna roll in and try and take on OnePlus head to head. So let's talk about the 10 Pro first, because it's probably the most interesting of these three phones. It's the most premium one. It looks a little bit like a Galaxy S10. It has that sort of a curved screen on the sides, and TCL is making a really big deal about its screen technology that it's pulling in from TVs. So it has a custom controller, and that can mean that it can vary the refresh rate, so we should see 90, maybe even 120 hertz on this. And for video, it can dynamically change SDR content into HDR content. It has an in-screen fingerprint sensor, and there are four cameras on the back, which should be enough. One of those cameras is a macro camera, and I was able to pull focus on a little plant from like just about three inches away, which is pretty impressive. We'll see about the rest of the cameras. TCL was pretty blunt that like, they're not gonna have the best cameras on the market. They know that, we know that, so they're not gonna pretend that it's gonna be an amazing best of breed camera. One other thing that I can say about this thing is that it has a headphone jack, hey! Now the two cheaper phones are the 10L and the 10 5G, and they just feel cheaper. They're just not as nice build quality. They do have the same four cameras on the back. Well, maybe not the same. I don't know for sure that they're identical to what's on the Pro, but it's got four cameras, which fine. Again, that's enough. Uh, they have a fingerprint sensor on the back, and their screens are flat and probably just not as nice as on the 10 Pro. But the important thing to remember is that the 10 5G is gonna have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 700 series, which presumably means the 765, which means that it has 5G built in without hurting the battery life too much, which means that it might be the very first 5G phone that costs less than $500, and that's really important. Now look, if you're watching this video, there is a pretty good chance that you are not gonna get super hype over mid-range TCL Android phones. I get it but they're still important because TCL has really good carrier relationships, which means that when somebody walks into an AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, and they just want to get the cheapest Android phone, they're going to get something pretty good from TCL. And having more competition in the sub $500 space is going to be important for everybody. I especially like that these phones are pretty normal size. They're not big honkers like OnePlus phones are. And that's nice. We will find out much more about these phones at Mobile World Congress next month. We'll get full specs and hopefully prices and hopefully release dates on all of them. So we're gonna be stay tuned for that. As for the folding phone, who knows? TCL even talked about how they wanna make a folding tablet with like three folds on it. That could be fun. The bottom line is if TCL can pull this off, you might know them for phones instead of just TVs. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. We're here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, which means we're gonna have a ton of videos of some pretty cool gadgets, so you should keep it locked to The Verge.